Namaste. We looked at the plight of the Asha workers and the Paura Karmikas during the coronavirus lockdown. Today we are going to focus on one more class of people who are tirelessly working on the streets to ensure that all of us are safe. I would like to focus on the entire police force of this country who are involved in the corona crisis. To just give you a fact, there are close to 30 lakh policemen all over the country as of now who are involved in uh, ensuring that all of us are safe. Now this looks like a huge number but for our own population of 130 crores this is just a small number. When you look at the ratio, we have a ratio of 144 policemen for every 1 lakh the population. But as per the UN, there should be a minimum of 222 for every 1 lakh. So already this is a depleted force. Now what are the tasks that the police have during the course of the lockdown? Point number one, they need to ensure that the lockdown uh, is effective. Point number two, ensure that people follow the rules and stay at home. Point number three, engage in arrests uh, and take care of violators during, the, during this phase. Point number four, create awareness about uh, the entire episode of the coronavirus. Five, assist the ASHA workers or the BBMP workers to uh, collect samples from infected people, to reach homes of the people who are in quarantine, to ensure that people who are to be in quarantine or self-isolation are there without breaking any rules. So these are some of the tasks. Along with this, they also have the task of uh, taking care of law and order. Now, during these tasks, they are faced with innumerable threats, especially during the season. The biggest threat that they face, which is common to everyone, is lack of protective equipment, which includes masks, sanitizers, gloves, etc. Forget about PPE kits. The other threat that they face is contracting infection because of uh, any of these uh, uh, things which are missing they will have to ensure that they arrest people who are violating the rules. Now, arresting someone involves a physical touch. And again, whether the person is infected or not, you touch the wrong person, you end up getting infected. If police people get infected and they are ill and they are quarantined at home, this puts additional pressure on the existing workforce, which is already depleted. They have their own families as well back home, which they need to really take care of. During these times when there are violators on the road who are violating just for the sake of fun, just for the sake of violation, anger and frustration can again lead to brutality as well, can lead to assaults. We only see one side of the story. We brand them as corrupt. We brand them as brutal. We brand them as people who are just wielding their lati uh, without any sense. But we need to understand that they are humans as well. How many times you see violators on the road just violating the rules and using passes just for the sake of their convenience? They do not have a choice because they are fighting for the nation. They are involved in their duty. We have a choice. We have a choice to stay at home and not create further trouble. The least we can do is follow the rules of the lockdown and stay at home. I wish we stay home, stay safe. Prevention is better than 